just a simple forms, which is objects that are 3D or solid shapes, and then you're doing value and shading. Okay, you need to put your name, AM or PM. Okay, when we talk about value and shading, we're talking about the lightness or darkness of a color. Sometimes people call it tonal value. This is a two-sided sheet. On one side, there's a cylinder and cone. On the other side, there is a cube and a sphere. I'm going to start off with the cube. As you can see, my finished example here um, says here, instructions, complete the value scale, then add shading to each shape using your value scale. Tips, start shading the darkest areas and gradually lightening your shading. Shading should be smooth, change from dark to light. Okay, so you have a value scale that has been written out for you. You need to go in with your pencil, start doing the hardest amount of pressure, because really, when you press harder, you're going to get a darker value with your pencil. Next one is 75, so I'm pressing, almost like when I think about it, like 75% of the pressure now. Okay, then I go maybe half the amount of pressure here for three. Um, two, I'm even doing less pressure. Ten, I'm really just 10% pressure. And then it goes to white, and so you have a value scale here. All right, so with the cube, I'm going to start off with that. There's numbers here, 0, 1, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5, and 4. These are numbers that correspond to your value scale. Okay, so if I wanted to, I'm just going to start out with my darkest. I know 5's here. And you don't have to do it in this order. I'm just doing it in this order because I just had shown you darkest to lightest. And for some people, that's easier to do. And then when I go to the 4, and if you have to go beyond that, that outline right there, that's fine. And then I'm going to bring it in. And that's 2. This is lighter. I'm going to go darker again. And the reason why it gets two right here, there's something called um, reflected light. So a lot of times when an object has shadow and you may notice it, there's almost like a, like a little bit of a light spot behind the shadow. And that's where light sometimes reaches in. And it's just called reflected light. Okay, and then here I've got to lighten up because it's three. So I want to look at three. Three is 50% half the pressure. Okay, one is very light, that's 10% pressure, and it's got to go to white. Two and three, right over here. So two, 35% pressure. And then three should be darker, but not as dark as four. Okay. So once you have that done, oh, i got to darken up a little. You might have to go back in. It's like anything. If you have to, go back in, darken it up, or even like go in an another direction. And that ha helps even that out and push that shadow. Okay. All right. So now I have the cube done. Now on this one, you're going to take what you learned from here, replicate it on this cube. Okay. So it's a matter of creating those same values but on this cube here. So it should match but you just don't have the numbers and then you have to create that cast shadow. So I'm going to do the 2 or it could do my 5. And actually I feel much more confident now. I'm just going to start wherever I want to. 2. Pressing harder for 5. I want it to be the darkest. 4. And if you extend out the shadow that's okay. And then I want to do four again. And actually, four should be a little bit darker than that. And if you have to look at your value scale again, double check. I have to go back over. I'm doing this very quickly, but you guys can do a much neater job. Three. Three is 50%. I want it to look gradually smooth. Okay, and then here, two and three. So it's a combination of two and then it's darker down here. I should match that. It got a little bit darker. And then at the top, one. Really light. Fades to white. And I, I want to go back in and really fix those shadows. 
It's nice if you have softer pencils because pencils come in different hardnesses. I have a number two pencil. It's okay, but if you can buy a set that has some different hardnesses and soft graphite on it, it makes it easier to get those value changes. That should be gradual. See, I don't want it to be gradual, so I need to really go back in and make it look like it's changing gradually. So I have a longer shadow. That looks a little bit better than that one. Okay. I'll go back in and fix that. Okay, so that's how you're doing your values. Um, for the cube, you want to do the sphere. You want to do the cylinder and the cone. Okay, so that's how you do that.